Hello, this is a review of the Empson Omelette Wave. Now basically what you get here is you basically open up the box, this comes in a bag which is a clamshell piece of plastic that helps you divide the egg evenly between both sides, pop in the microwave, cook for a little bit, pop fillings in, close the lid so that the one the top flops onto the top of the other and cook a little bit longer and voila you're supposed to have an omelette then that looks something like pictured on the box here um, and pictured in the different guides that we have here so honestly my omelettes never turned out anything like this and I will just show you so I'll show you what my experience has been so they give you instructions that are pretty easy to follow um, it's definitely quick and easy however uh, it really didn't taste too good in my opinion um, I think perhaps I have a rather high wattage microwave which is the 1200 watts that they claim in the instructions they give you fair warning that they say by the way these instructions are for a 1200 watt microwave um, you will need to vary for your your particular microwave um, that happens to be what I have but my results look nothing like what you see pictured here and when I tasted them they tasted a bit rubbery and you'll see maybe I did something wrong but I'll show you exactly what I did and how it turned out um, again the instructions are easy to follow I really wanted it to work um, but honestly I really really didn't like the results um, I'm really sorry to say that so let me show you what I did but the verdict for me on this was it really didn't work out uh, for something that I was happy with prepare your fillings and set them aside I have sauteed green peppers I have Monterey Jack cheese I have some diced up tomatoes and some scallions take two to three eggs beat well add salt and pepper as needed Divide evenly into the two halves. Put it in the microwave and cook for 1 minute 15 seconds to 1 minute 30 seconds varying based on your microwave. Cook on high until it is almost set. It should be slightly uncooked in the middle. As you can see it pops up around the sides but isn't yet cooked in the middle. So the left side doesn't seem cooked enough here. It's still kind of sloshing around with, with egg yolk. So I'm going to give it another 15 seconds. Okay, we're going to try another 15 seconds. Okay, I think we're good enough. You'll see it's still a little bit liquid, but it seems mostly set this time on that side. Uh, okay, add filling to what, the one side that's going to be the bottom side, and you're going to get prepared to close the top. Um, honestly, look at this. It's, there's no top. That's kind of interesting. But I'm going to follow the instructions, flip it down. And we're cooking for about 30 seconds. Oh, and you see it pops open on its own accord while cooking. All right, so here we have it. Let's see what we get on the inside. So this is our omelet. It looks a lot more like scrambled eggs. So let's put it on the plate and see what it tastes like. Okay, now it's plated. Honestly, it smells a little bit funny. And it's a little bit liquidy in the middle, but it is just the cheese, we believe. Okay, and honestly, I think it tastes like really overcooked scrambled eggs. It's not terrible. Um, it's definitely edible, um, but um, it doesn't quite have the same taste and the quality. I think the problem is the outside got way overcooked before that inner side uh, did that we saw there. So I think it cooked really unevenly. But otherwise, it tastes like cooked eggs, but it's really um, probably overcooked. Well, that didn't work. So let's try this again. This time, I ran this through the dishwasher to make sure it's as clean as possible. I'm going to try an egg again, and this time I'm going to cook it at a lower temperature than my um, high wattage microwave. So I'm going to try to power setting 7 instead of on high. Okay, and I'm going to fill one side to test a the theory with one egg at a time. And there you can see it. It starts to bubble up on one side. I thought maybe at a lower setting, power setting 7, it would work better. And when the power kicks on, you'll see that it bubbles up like scrambled eggs. Well, that wasn't right. That was on power setting 7. And granted, I was trying only one side, so I probably should have done less. But it's just a thick bunch of scrambled eggs. Okay, and now I'm going to try it again. So power level wasn't the key. So I'm going to try my own recipe where I add a little bit of milk, about uh, one tablespoon per egg. And let's see if it doesn't uh, have that ring effect again. Milk added. Added it to one side again to test my theory with uh, being a little bit more liquid with the milk added. Cooking for about 45 seconds on a high this time. Okay, and there we have it. Um, it 
nearly entirely cooked up and will be um, lowering back down again. But we end up with the usual circle pattern again with no egg in the middle. Okay, so that clearly didn't work. Um, I mean, that's not an omelet with a hole in the middle. So let me try one more time. I'm going to go half power in my 1200 watt microwave. One egg, whipped and added salt and pepper. Poured in half to test again the theory that this egg can cook evenly. I'm going to cook it on medium or power setting five. Well, it still puffs up around the edges as it cooks, but it falls flat as soon as the it cycles power on, power off when, when it's on power setting five. So it's not yet building up as tall on the edges. So after 45 seconds, that still looks more runny. They say almost set. So I think we have to cook it a little bit further if I could literally tilt this and pour it. Still bubbles up as it cooks. I'm running it just for a little bit longer on power setting five. And it cycles off. As soon as it cycles off, it all falls flat again. Okay, now I only ran it a little bit longer, but clearly it's cooked too long in the middle again because now it is cooked. Um, it's only in this area right about here um, is it still only slightly set. You still always end up with the outer edges getting cooked first um, in the early cooking cycle. The middle um, this time was cooked too much again. Um, it tears so easily because it's paper thin in the middle. Um, even when I cook it at lower temperature, but to me lower temperature definitely was the key. It definitely doesn't come together and encase itself. Um, you just have the little pocket in the middle that hopefully you put your fillings and then you just have a double stack of these. Well, I just tried it. It really tastes like rubber, um, to be honest, around the edges here. Okay, now let's follow the same procedure. We've got our sides prepared here, but we're going to do it in the pan this time. Now we beat three eggs again, and we added three tablespoons of milk this time to this one, and we're going to add salt and pepper. Now we cooked it and moved around the pan until it was soft enough. Green onions, tomatoes, sautéed green pepper, and a little bit of jalapeno. All right, flip the cover. It doesn't look extremely pretty itself, but it sure does taste good. All right, how about some bacon? Okay, and now we have a meal for two. So there's some things to consider is uh, varying a course based on microwave, which they're going to tell you. You can see my own results that show mixed results that I couldn't even get it to work under varying different conditions. But um, remember a few things is one, do try a lower uh, power setting on your microwave if you have a high wattage like mine because basically it's going to puff up and collapse, puff up and collapse every time the power cycles uh, from the high to uh, the resting period when it's trying to mimic a lower uh, power setting. And I had more success with the outer edge still getting overcooked but it left the egg in the middle. But when I put it all on high and cooked on high, the middle just completely disappeared. I ended up with a ring of eggs that you see, that you saw. 